2016 was one of my favorite games and my favorite first person shooter, period. So when I heard that Wolfenstein the New Colossus was coming out by the same developers, I decided, you know what, I actually own the remake of the Wolfenstein series and its prequel from a sale on Green Man Gaming, I believe, and decided, you know what, it's about time I should play it. So I installed them both, booted up the old blood, and promptly uninstalled it and dropped it like it was on fire because it starts off with an obligatory stealth section, and there's nothing more I hate in my shooty bang bang games than a instant fail, unskippable stealth section. Fucking thing is lucky that I bought it on Green Man Gaming and not Steam or I would have returned it in a heartbeat. But be that as I may, I decided to try out the new order in hopes that it would be something that would recapture that magic of Doom. And you know what? It didn't. In fact, it almost seems like Doom is something of a response or like an attempt to go in the opposite direction. Let me explain. In Doom 2016, when you first start off the game, you start off with a section that's a bit plot heavy of this woman claiming how you will ruin everything, painting you as this unstoppable machine of destruction. And then you get a section where the Mr. Hayden, the leader of this little operation you're on on Mars, begins to try and say that you two can help each other and that he can assist you in your and this at this point the main character the doom guy literally takes the plot and throws it to the side and a little bit later you're in a elevator and where mr hayden once again attempts to justify his actions he basically shuts him up and basically the game goes yeah, none of that shit, none of that plot shit is gonna matter. We are going to shoot zombies in the fucking face and we are going to like it. And then you go on a 10 hour romp with little to no plot where all you're doing is basically just shooting demons in the face and loving every second of it. Wolfenstein The New Order, on the other hand, starts off plot heavy. In fact, it starts off some of the most plot heavy I have ever seen in FPS. And unlike most FPSs like say Halo or Gears of War, which content themselves with for telling a generic if competent story, Wolfenstein is telling one of the best stories I've seen in video games, period, with characters which the first few hours makes you care about. It makes you feel something for these characters. It has a moral choice within the first hour that actually made me hesitate to the point where I was given a failure screen for not choosing fast enough as the antagonist of this moment told me that he would, that warned me that he would lose patience. Wolfenstein the New Order story is just, it's a game with such a great story about well, about killing Nazis, it's, it's also, it has a great story, but it also has great gameplay. It's not polished to the sheer mirror sheen that Doom 2016 is, but make no mistake, the gunplay in New, Co in New Order feels phenomenal. This is a, the New Order is a phenomenal game from every aspect. The... Storyline, as I said, is about this Mr. B.J. Blaskowitz and his adventures in a post-Nazi winning World War II world. Early on in the story, you meet up with the remnants of a resistance organization, and they're, all of these characters, they're not just faces with guns that occasionally help you in missions. These people are actual fleshed out characters. I mean, some of the best moments happen when you interact with them or when you do things with them. These moments eclipse the gunplay, which, as I said before, is rather pleasing. In fact, one of the most one of the most standout moments is this moment where you go around looking for toys for this mentally disabled man who uh, just it's just this heart wrenching, heartwarming little moment that just oh, I love this game story. The New Order is a story that just, I don't want to talk about it because I went into this not expecting anything of the story and came out absolutely and utterly astonished at how good it was. 
and I don't want to ruin that experience for anyone who has yet to play this game, so just go play this game, its story is great. But if you're one of those people who doesn't care about stories in first person shooters, which I think by the amount of people who don't even touch the story modes in things like Call of Duty, shall we say, and instead go directly to the multiplayer, I can say without a shadow of the doubt that this is some of the most fun I've had in an FPS if you if you disregard Doom, because Doom holds the shining crown of that, but the FPS mechanics are fun. All of the weapons feel good to shoot. You can dual wield most weapons for no reason besides the fact that, you know, the developers thought, yeah, that sounds cool. And the gun, this game is also challenging. This isn't a easy game. There were times where I was tempted and one time where I had to lower the difficulty down in order to go through with it. And... And also another thing I have to give out a shout out to is the upgrade system. As you use certain weapons, you can get milestones which unlock upgrades. And by playing a certain way, you get upgrades in a way that benefits your playstyle. Now, there are a few rough spots with this. There are a couple of little milestones where you have to um, do something, you have to kill enemies while sliding, which is something that I never really did much outside of the few moments it was needed to traverse certain specific obstacles. And there are also a few scenarios where while you can certainly go in guns a-blazing, it feels like it was almost impossible without at the very least assassinating some of your enemies beforehand. And these moments were, while few and far between, when they happened, they just ground the entire momentum of the game to the stomp. But, like I said, these are few and far between, and for the most part, the game is just a blast to play. The gunplay feels good, the enemies are the enemies explode in various fountains of gore in a pleasant and accurate way to what weapons you're using against them. It's just, oh, this game, just playing this game is great. And the fact that it has a phenomenal story by just video game standards, not just first-person shooter standards, just makes it all the more better. It just it, it makes everything better. It's great. Wolfenstein The New Order is a fantastic game with very few flaws. Story-wise, the only real flaw I can think of is the fact that early on, that moral decision I mentioned, well, this makes... this changes the story. But I kind of sort of wish it had changed the story a bit more thoroughly. There is one character of little consequence that gets switched out, and another character which seems he would be of more consequence, but really this just translates into two or three um, story uh, cutscenes that just change and their context is a bit flipped around. But all in all, Wolfenstein The New Order is a phenomenal fucking game. And if you are a fan of first person shooters or you play games for engaging and entertaining stories, Play this game. This thing gets a 9 out of 10. It is phenomenal. Go track it down and play it. Alright, that's been a little talk ramble about Wolfenstein The New Order. If you like this video, like it. If you disliked it, well, there's a button for that too. Comment, subscribe, ring the bell. And if you would be so kind, check out my Patreon where I just... I don't know. You know, where I, you can give me a dollar or two a month because you want to support me or something. And also check out my website, where um, I haven't really updated it recently, because I recently got a job, so, whoa. But I haven't really had much time for anything YouTube-related, so yeah, I'm going to start posting links to all my videos, and that's just going to be a nice place where you can go, okay, this is his newest video. But yeah, that's been me for the day. Um, thank you all for watching. I shall see you all next time. Goodbye. Oh yeah, and before I forget, I also have a YouTube channel where you can check out some Let's Plays, and I also have another YouTube channel where I said I was going to post blogs and such, but as I said, I got a job, so I haven't been doing that much yet, but I'm going to start posting stuff again. Like, um, I got a couple of things that I'm going to unbox, like a couple of special editions and just general editions of games, but yeah, just check that out. All of those links down below. Well, this has been Juan John John, and I shall see you all next time. Goodbye.